press the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to never miss our videos. Hello guys. Today we have got really something special board here. Yeah, it's STM32 F103 C series board. It is really cheap. You can get it for about 300 rupees in India and outside in India. You can get it for 3 or 3 and a half dollars. And it features a 32 bit processor and the Arduino Uno features a 8 bit processor. So it is quite faster than a Uno. It have, it features a lot and let's take a look to its features. It features 72 megahertz internal frequency which is 4.5 times faster than a Uno. It features a 20 KB RAM which is 10 times a Uno. And it features a 64 KB flash memory which is 2 times a Uno. And it features 37 GPIO pins and a Uno has only 14 GPIO pins. And it got 10 ADC pins and a Uno only has 6 ADC pins. So it outruns Uno in every field. Hello, it's the time to program it. So let's hook it up. So you got a FTDI programmer and connections are like this. So connect it. And then uh, as you can see, I am connecting it. to program it we have to unplug this jumper and shift if shift it to the another side so as, as you can see I have unplugged it and plug it to the another side as you can see it is plugged now all I have to do is to connect the cable as you can see I am connecting the cable and after that you have to press the reset key as you can see there is the reset key so I am pressing it and I pressed it so you are ready to program it let's program it now open the Arduino IDE and open the preferences then here paste this Arduino add-on website or address copy it I will post in the description and you can paste it here by separating it with the comma and after pasting it as you can see I have already pasted it press ok then go to tools boards and boards manager I have already installed it but I am showing you how to do it and it will take some time so this is gonna take a time little bit time so wait for, wait for sec some seconds so it's updating the index checking the platform index so it's ok now you can search stm32 so I'm gonna type stm32 and you have to select the stm32 f103 words so here it, here it is I have already installed it you have to click on the stall and it will be installed and after that you have to go to tools again so you can see on the screen I'm clicking so after installing your board will appear in your board manager as stm 32 f 103 c series board so you have to select it you have to select the variant 20 k ram as i have to, i own 20 k ram cpu frequency 72 megahertz upload method serial and the optimized mode small as default so after setting all this you have to change the pb1 pin to the pc13 because the inbuilt led is on pc13 so as i am changing it to the pc13 as you can see on the screen uh, i have changed it to the pc13 and after that i have to select the port as you can see port is not appearing so i will plug in and plug the cable again and check the settings again then i am plugging it and after plugging I will check the port then port will appear so as you can see it's still not appeared so I will plug and unplug it so as you can see now the port is plugged and it's COM32 I have selected it it's time to hit the upload hit the upload so I will program now you can see the green LED is blinking slowly 
it's not quite intense but it's blinking so i have created a sketch for the speed test of both boards as you can see i'm uploading it first for arduino uno and it's uploading and uploading so after uploading i open the cl monitor and see the time taken by the uno to com complete this calculation and after that i am uploading the same sketch for stm32 and as you can see on the screen it's uploading compiling and uploading it's going to take our time so it's uploading okay and i am going to open the cl monitor again and you can see it's quite too faster calculates than uno so we going to come so i divided the time taken by the arduino by the time taken by the stm to perform the calculation as you can see it's 4.47 that means stm32 is 4.47 times faster so i have uploaded this sketch to test its real time clock so i am going to read time as you can see i am typing the read time and it's giving the time because i haven't set it set its time so it's giving the default time so it rtc work it's the time for conclusion it has got a real time clock which is good it is faster than uno 4.5 times it has got more pin than uno it had got more memory than uno it is cheaper than uno so i definitely recommend it it's really good product to use thanks for watching